so here's my blobby guy again my little walking television set or whatever he is I've erased all the other stuff I have my keyframe that's being held all the way until frame 20 um, if I wanted to add more frames I can click on an insert frame and now it'll hold it for a whole second um, what I want to do is I want to make him follow a path so all I have to do now is just create a motion tween and then I can move him to where I want him to go and what you'll get is you'll get this little path uh, chart not really a chart but it's kind of a I think of it as like footsteps it's kind of where he's going and how long it's going to take him to get there so you can adjust that and move it around um, and so on and then you watch what happens is that he starts to follow that now it's he's doing it in where I left my uh, frame so I can move if I wanted to make that longer let me undo the remove the motion and I put him here and if I click there and make a motion tween uh, I get a lot more options I get a lot more dots so basically each dot is a frame so now I can control this um, and if I use the other one that uh, moves the whole thing, which is weird. It's the opposite of Illustrator. Um, so I want to click off of that. I just want to get one of them. I'll give me the whole thing. So there's a little bit of a learning curve, like I said. Click off of this. Click here. It's not letting me do anything. Okay. Nothing. Um, so... <laughs> So let's just play it real quick and see what he does. He follows that path. Okay, now I can orient him to path two, which means, well, when I have it set up originally, I can rotate him so that I have him, come on, there we go. So I can have him following the path like this. And now when he's oriented to the path, he will keep, he'll stay with that same style. So that's really it for that, for the motion thing. And then I could create a new keyframe. And then here, I can have him do something else. So I'm going to insert keyframe position. And then I'm going to take him and I'm going to flip him like I did before. So that's under modify. So a lot of my changes are under modify. Uh, transform, flip horizontal, and then I want him to go. Well, see, now it's just extended it. Up like this. So let's see what he does now. He's following. Uh oh. He's turning and then he's upside down. So <laughs> you have to be a little careful when you add other things. If I wanted to make a new um, transition, I think I'd have to do a different layer and then add some other things. Or I could possibly leave a little bit of a break. Let's see what happens if I insert another keyframe. So it's still under the motion. It's still wanting to add to the motion and so on. So motion ones are pretty easy to start uh, if you have a specific path that you want it to follow. Um, and then you can move it around so that it can do all kinds of stuff. Um, and then you can orient him to the path. Now he twisted because I had set the way I had it set. So I'm sure there's a way to fix that. Right at the moment, I'm not sure what it is. So one last one, we will try the shape tween, which I'll explain in the next video.